but they've sorted themselves out. They're coming with the first of the 19 fences. And Mamur and Flashing Steel share the work out wide. Kilfinney cross a line of three as they cross the first all safely over. Chatham, the back marker. And it's Kilfinney cross, one of the rank outsiders that shows the way. Heading to the second. Flashing Steel and Mamur, second and third. And Truck Express, unguided missile, James Peak, Billy Go Gruff. Then Flyers, Nap and Percy Smollett, the trailer is Chatham. And they're coming in towards the wings of the second. And it's Kilfinney cross who leaps it in the lead. Fine jump there by Flashing Steel in second, Mamur racing third. Amtrak Express is in four, and Unguided Missile the inside five. And then we have Billy Goat Gruff, Flyers, Nap, James Pig, Chatham, and Percy Smollett, the back marker, as they race down the hill and towards the third. Percy Smollett, far from fluent at the first two fences. He's last at the moment as they take the third. And landing in front, it was Kilfinney Cross with the red cap, followed by Amtrak Express, the stripe sleeves, the grey. And third is Mamur as they head towards the water jump. And then behind Mamur, flashing steel towards the inside, unguided missile is next. Then James Pig and Billy Go Gruff as they race now towards a big open ditch on the far side. Percy Smollett is still in last place, but uh, joining in that position is Chatham. So on towards this big ditch then, Kilfinney Cross a great jump in the lead from Flashing Steel in second, then Amtrak Express, Mamur, Unguided Missile, the inside, and then James Pig out wide as they race towards another plane fence. And Flyer's Nap is back in the field with Billy Goat Ruff at this one. Flyer's Nap rather reached for it. A slight mistake behind those by Chatham as well as they climb on the far side and head towards the big open ditch on that uh, top part of the course. Kill Finney Cross cutting it out by a couple of lengths then. Two Flashing Steel on the inside with Unguided missile and then Amtrak Express out wide with the grey Marmur and James Pig is next and then back in the field to Billy Goat Gruff and Flyers Nap and then uh, Chatham and Percy Smollett still rather awkward at the fences in last place. And he's getting one or two reminders of our Percy at the back of the pack under Brendan Powell trying to end a bit of a losing run Brendan they begin the descent for the first time in this Ritz Club National Hunt chase and it's still the bottom weight rank outside of Kilfinney Cross and the John, John McLaughlin who shows the way Two Amtrak Express in second, running the red is Flashing Steel, the black jacket in third. That's towards the right. The grey Mamur holding a position is a sharing third place with Unguided Missile, the favourite, popping over just behind. Flyers Nap went through the top of that one. Chatham is the back marker and continuing down the hill. This will be the second last next time round. This time it's the ninth and it's Kilfinney Cross who leads coming to it. Kilfinney crossed the leader then, the grey is Mamur touching down in second place with the Amtrak Express, the inside unguided missile racing four. Then we have Billy Groke Gruff in five and flashing steel, six and flyers nap and uh, getting one or two reminders is Chatham. That's in front of Percy Smollett, who isn't happy at all uh, travelling this way round on the track and he's in front of James Pig, who's now the trailer. This next time round, we might have been surprised if Kilfunny Cross is in front, but stranger things do happen. But he's over in the lead here, that'll be the last next time round. So the order, as they come up past us, Kilfinney Cross leads to Mamur, the outside of Amtrak Express, and then Unguided Missile, well placed in four, three and a half, four lengths off the pace. Billy Goat Gruff follows, and then Flashing Steel and Chatham and Flyers nap. And then we have Percy Smollett pushed along virtually from Flagfall, and the back marker is James Pig as they cross the next. No change up front, Flyers nap slightly awkward, Percy Smollett a bit slow and slow, and James Pig is the back marker. The race down the hill then towards uh, fence number two. 12. And it's still Kilfinney Cross, the lightweight that leads from Mamur in second and Amtrak Express. But the favourite unguided missile getting closer now. The pace has increased, they're getting a bit strung out, and Kilfinney Cross almost joined over that one by Mamur. There's only a half length between these two horses as they head back towards the water jump. They're ahead of uh, Unguided Missile and then Amtrak Express from Billy Goat Gruff towards the outside as they fly over the water. Flyers Nap is next, and then Chatham being rowed along at this stage. Way back in the field, James Pig getting tailed off, and Percy Smollett's got a lot of work to do. Heading towards the open ditch again, Kilfinney Cross and Mamur. They're three lengths clear of Unguided Missile. Missile. Billy Go Gruff now moves into fourth place as they rise towards another plane fence on the far side and then flashing steel back on the inside. Amtrak Express has lost a place or two as Flyers Nap begins to stay on a bit and uh, now they climb away towards the far side once again and towards this big open ditch often has a big problem with many of the horses here and it's Kill Finney Cross by a half length to Mamur. Unguided missile in third. Billy Go Gruff is fourth towards the other. Kill Finney Cross is down at it. Oh, 
that fence, it does take its toll. An unguided missile is left in front on the inside of Marmur. And then Billy Go Gruff being driven along in third from Chatham and Flyers now. But at the top of the hill, two in it, unguided missile and the grey Marmur. And Flashing Steel has been pulled up, James Pig has been pulled up, Mercy Percy Smollett has been pulled up. So the favourite on the right, unguided missile, on the left, Marmur, the grey. They're a long way clear of Chatham and uh, Billy Go Gruff in the grey. The black and yellow diamonds is Flyers Nap, and they're coming down towards the third last in the Ritz Club. An unguided missile comes to it. Mamua making a big race of it. They're well clear of Chatham and Billy Go Gruff and Flyers Nap, and there goes Amtrak Express, a remote six. They've just got two to jump. And it's Mamua travelling well, the outside of unguided missile, the favourite. Here we are, two out. Mamua, unguided missile in the air together, touchdown together. Mamua travels the stronger Chathams in third, and then comes Flyers Nap, unguided missile has got the run of the rail as they make the final turn. Andrew Thornton on the grey. Mamur, Richard Dunwoody, unguided missile. Absolutely stride for stride, locked in combat with one to jump. Mamur on the left, on the right, unguided missile. How do they take the final fence? And Mamur comes to it. He stretches well, but unguided missile won't be denied. He gets away from it the better. It's an uphill struggle to the line. Unguided missile, Mamur, Mamur, unguided missile. And Mamur dominates. Mamur takes it up as it breaks up towards the line. Mamur is going to give Andrew Thornton his 27th win of the season. Takes the Ritz Club, Mamur it is. Driving in second place, unguided missile. Chatham bravely up the hill for third. These clear of flyers, Nap, and the only other one to finish was Amtrak Express.